Hello everybody, this is Grandpops. I recently got into gaming with a three wide monitor setup. And that was really cool. I really liked it. And uh, I always wish I had a little more, one more monitor so I could uh, have some other apps open while I was gaming. But you know, three's enough. Then I started getting into streaming. Now I definitely needed another screen so I could uh, see my streaming software. And I would have liked to be able to be in Discord. And there's other software that you got to have open to make the stream do different things. It just kept snowballing from there. And I'm thinking, oh man, I don't want to go out and buy all these monitors. Besides that, my monitor, my my display card can only have three monitors plugged in, not four or five or six. And I guess there's ways to daisy chain and jury rig if you got all the equipment to do it. It's, it sounds pretty expensive. Well, I discovered a piece of software that is, in my opinion, invaluable for anybody with widescreen monitors and multiple displays who want to be able to control everything and see everything. I found the perfect solution, in my opinion. It's in an app called Display Fusion. Now, I'm not going to sit here and teach you how to do Display Fusion because it can be very complicated. It's a very powerful program. And if you want to learn how to use it, well, there's plenty of help, help tutorials online, and the help in, in the app is actually pretty good. It takes you to their website. And you can usually figure it out without too much trouble. Now, as you can see, I got all three monitors running. All right here's my middle monitor, my left monitor, my right monitor, right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a game. I love to game in War Thunder. This is what it's all about. Gaming and streaming is what this is basically about. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to open up my War Thunder. Uh, bear with me, you know, because we got to open up this software. Okay, I've got three wide games, so I got set the resolution for three wide gaming. I hit play, and now I wait. It doesn't really take too long if there's not an update. You get this thing loaded here. I wanted to make a continuous video if I can, instead of breaking away and editing. And I want you to have time to to try this as I'm going. You know, you could use your game here instead of my game, and that way you can work right along with this video. It gives you the extra time. I guess you could have paused it. Okay, there's a glitch right there in uh, War Thunder for some reason. Ever since their new update for me. Can't help it. Okay, the game's gone up. We log in. And bam, we're in the game. Get my daily login. Okay, here we are. We're in the game. Play this game a lot. I stream it online. If you want to watch me or see my edit, my videos, just search Grandpops on YouTube. Uh, Okay, here we are. Now you notice it takes up all three of my screens. I can't see anything behind it. And that's all well and good if that's all you are doing is gaming 
and nothing else. Now, what about the guys who want to stream? And they want to have software up here where they can see it, or they want to talk on Discord, and they want a Discord screen up here where they can see it. But the only option at this point is hit your window keys and go in here and bring up whatever it is you... I, let's say I want to bring up Streamlabs. I click on Streamlabs. Streamlabs comes up. <laughs> it's on the screen. Of course, I can put it anywhere I want. Okay. I click back to this game. I'm gaming, but look what happened to my Discord. It's gone. I can't see it anymore. So I don't know. I can't do any of my transitions from scene to scene. I can't control any of the volumes. Nothing. So I have to hit the Windows keys. And of course, now you lost control of the game. And click on Streamlabs again down there at the taskbar. Now it comes up. And I'm in business. Okay. I want a game I want War Thunder showing. So... Because here we go again. I have to hit the Windows keys. I got to hit uh, Discord. My Discord loads up. It's all well and good. Okay, here it is. I put my Discord over here. Bam. Now I got Discord and I can see all my friends online, whatever the case may be. I can see what's happening. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now, this is cool, if it would stay there, but the minute I go to game, bam, I can't see nothing anymore, it's gone. I got control of my game, but I can't see or interact with any of my other pieces of software. So, wouldn't that be cool? Let's show these again. Boom. Room. Wouldn't it be cool if I could, like, have Discord over there, or my streaming software over there, and Discord over this side, and all my games would be from there to there. That would be really cool. So, this is what Display View will do for you. Here we go. Watch this. Control Alt 2. That's my shortcut key for display view to change it to a monitor configuration that I set up. And you notice my taskbar is only from here to here now. Okay, now, that's all well and good, but my mouse still runs into these other boxes, and when I click on here, it disappears, of course, like before. Bring them back up. Now, if I'm gaming, and I actually get my mouse over here, you know, from going back and forth and running, and I click on it. I'm going to activate something over here that I didn't want to. So this is how you take care of it. Now, I got to exit out of War Thunder because my resolution is too high now. Let's quit. Because what I basically did was take this big, long monitor and divide it up into three monitors. From here, and then my gaming I set up for from that whole screen to half of this screen to here, and then a third monitor from here to here, the other half of that screen. So I'm basically gaming on two monitors. But... The advantage of 
of this three monitor set up this way is that everything is still in the center. It's not, you're not, the center isn't over here like on a normal two monitor setup. Okay. Now I'm going to open War Thunders back up. Let's open it. Now I changed my resolution back down to two mon. That's how wide I got it. It's a two monitor wide resolution for gaming. I hit play. It loads up. Takes a minute. This software is really cool, guys. You may already know about it. If you do, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you need to check it out. It, you can download it for free and use it for 30 days. You got a 30-day free trial on it. Like I said, it's not that expensive. But if you're a multi-monitor player, uh, I don't, it's just perfect. Now, you notice... Is that glitch again? You notice, now my game opened up on like a two monitor from there to here. And now you can see my games over here. And I just move them over to this area where the game isn't. And over here, now look at this. I got my Ultra-wide gaming, I can still see my Discord, and I can see my streaming software, which is very important if you're streaming. you got to be able to get to that. Okay, now another problem that arises at this point is you're in here gaming, you're going away. Why, why don't I just, just start it? Maybe I can duplicate what I'm talking about here. But you're gaming and you're zooming around, moving your mouse. And like I said, and, and then your mouse ends up way over here on the left or something. And you happen to click to shoot and you activate something over here. And, of course, it comes up on the screen. And it's just a pain. Sometimes, you know, you'll maximize something and then... It'll cover up what you're gaming. It's just horrible. If you ever tried this, you know what you're ta I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. We're back in the game. Now you notice, see, when you click on the game, the game overlays it. When you click on the program, the program overlays the game. And like I said, that's what we work. We're trying to get rid of, so we don't have to worry about that. So now we got this. But here we go. Now we notice our Corsair can still move from one window to the next, and one app to the next app, which is really cool if that's what you want to do. But when you're gaming, you don't want your mouse to be able to get into these other programs and accidentally double click. And with Display Fusion, what you can do is set up a hotkey where you click it. Bam. I just did it. And now, my Corsair, Corsair will stay in whatever program it was on. It will not come out of it. Okay. I use my hotkey again. And I'm over here. Okay, now I'm going to click on my game. I'm going to do my hotkey again, and I my cursor is in the game. I can control the game, and bam, I cannot get over to the other apps to accidentally activate something while I'm gaming, which is wonderful. It's exactly what I wanted. Now, in order to... Get back to your other apps. 
of course, all you got to do is a quick little shortcut key. Bam, you're over here, and you click the heart. <laughs> And that's the beauty of this app. It's just invaluable. Okay, now I bring all this stuff up, and you gotta sit there and rearrange everything, and blah, blah, blah. I open up all these programs here. Let's see, here's another one I usually have open. Oh yeah, it's SNAZ. Gotta have SNAZ, right? Make sure. Streaming app, streaming app software a little more entertaining okay now I got all this stuff and so you bring all this up and you got to rearrange everything all the time well guess what display fusion makes that even a little simpler I got it all pulled up all you got to do is assign a hotkey to do this boom puts everything where you assign it with one shortcut keystroke and everything is back right where I assigned it so when you start everything I got everything set up where I can auto batch opens up everything I want to do and then I use one shortcut key and it puts all the layouts where it's at just that simple this program can do so much more than this that I haven't even touched on what it can do and how useful it is for people who want to game and stream and chat and manip use other software to manipulate it while they're doing all this it's just invaluable uh, it, it's a great tool you need to check it out like I said you can get a 30-day trial on it uh, I hope this piques your interest because I find it very very useful for what I'm doing so, with that, I hope you have a good day. See you.